Let's dive right in and explore the mysterious world of our dreams. Have you ever woken up from a dream so vivid it felt real? Or had a dream that stuck with you, lingering in your mind all day? What if these dreams were more than just random scenes playing out in your sleep? What if they held insights into your life, insights that could guide you, inspire you, and maybe even change the way you see the world? Dreams are fascinating, aren't they? They can be wild, wonderful, sometimes a bit weird, but always full of potential. They connect us to a deeper part of ourselves, to those thoughts and feelings we might not even know we had. It's like they're telling us stories, stories that matter to us on a level we might not always understand when we're awake. But what if we could? What if we could decode these stories and discover the wisdom they hold, Today we're going on a journey together, a journey into the heart of our dreams. We're going to see how these nightly adventures can actually help us navigate life with a bit more wisdom and a lot more insight. From understanding the symbols that pop up in our dreams, to figuring out why some dreams keep coming back again and again, we'll cover it all. We'll also look at how dreams can be a mirror, reflecting our deepest fears, our highest hopes, and everything in between. And here's the best part. You don't need to be a dream expert or a spiritual guru to join in. All you need is a little curiosity and the willingness to explore the stories your mind tells you when you're asleep. Because believe it or not, those stories can be pretty enlightening. They can teach us about who we are, what we want, and even where we're going. They can show us how to face our fears, how to embrace our true selves, and how to live a life that's a bit more connected and a whole lot more meaningful. So, why stick around till the end of this video? Because by the time we're done, you'll see your dreams in a whole new light. You'll start to notice patterns, understand meanings, and maybe even look forward to what your dreams will teach you next. And who knows, the insights you gain might just make your waking life a little brighter, a little bolder, and a lot more beautiful. Don't forget, if you find this journey through the world of dreams as fascinating as we do, hit that like button and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life YouTube channel. Here, we're all about exploring the deeper aspects of life, finding meaning in the everyday, and turning insights into actions that make our lives richer and more rewarding. Ready to start? Let's dive into the incredible world of dreams together. Who knows what we'll discover about ourselves along the way. Let's get dreaming, learning, and growing. Welcome to our journey into the wisdom of dreams, right here on Wisdom in Real Life. 1. The Spiritual Significance of Dreams Dreams are like secret messages from ourselves to ourselves, but we often think of them as just strange stories our minds tell us while we sleep. Yet, what if there's more to them? What if they're actually little guides, nudging us to look deeper into ourselves and the world? This idea isn't new. Many people and cultures throughout history have seen dreams as important signs, especially when it comes to understanding our inner selves and our connection to something bigger. When we dream, it's like our minds are talking to us in a special language, using symbols and stories instead of plain words. Imagine dreams as letters from a friend that we haven't learned how to read yet. Some of these letters might tell us about things we want or are afraid of losing. They might show us animals, water, or even have us flying or falling. Each of these images is a piece of a puzzle about us and our lives. Take water in dreams, for example. Water can represent our feelings. Rough waters might mean we're going through a tough time emotionally while calm waters could suggest we're feeling at peace. If we start paying attention to these symbols and what they make us feel, we can start to understand the messages our dreams are sending us. Some dreams keep coming back, like a song stuck in our head. These recurring dreams might be trying to tell us something important, something we haven't quite figured out yet, in our waking life. It's like our mind is saying, hey, look here, there's something you need to deal with. Facing these dreams can help us 
understand and overcome things we might be struggling with. Dreams can also be like wise friends, giving us advice or showing us which way to go when we're feeling lost. Ever woke up from a dream and suddenly knew the answer to something that was bothering you? That's the magic of dreams. They cut through all the noise and confusion of daily life and offer clear insights straight from the deeper parts of ourselves. Learning to understand our dreams is a bit like learning a new language, the language of our own deeper selves. It's not about cracking a code where one symbol always means the same thing to everyone. It's more personal. It's about asking ourselves how these dream images make us feel and what they remind us of. By doing this, we can start piecing together the advice and insights our dreams are giving us. Dreams are not just there to entertain or confuse us as we sleep. They are tools helping us to understand ourselves better, connect with our emotions, and even find guidance for our lives. They remind us that everything is connected, that there's more to this world than just the physical stuff we can touch and see, and that within us lies a wisdom waiting to be discovered. So how do we make sense of our dreams? It starts with being curious. When we wake up from a dream, Instead of just forgetting about it, we can think about it. What happened in the dream? How did it make us feel? Does it remind us of anything? Writing down our dreams can help too. Over time, we might start to see patterns or get new insights about ourselves. Approaching our dreams with an open heart and mind can turn them into a powerful guide. They can help us understand our fears, desires, and the mysteries of our lives. They can show us new ways to look at problems and even help us feel more connected to the world around us. In sharing this journey into the world of dreams, we're not just exploring the stories our minds tell us at night. We're discovering more about who we are, growing as people, and finding deeper connections to the world. Remember, every dream is a chance to learn something new about ourselves. As we go about our day, let's not forget the wisdom that comes to us in the night. Let's keep our minds and hearts open to the messages of our dreams. They're a gift, a magical, mysterious gift that helps us understand the deepest truths of our existence. Two, symbolism in dreams. Dreams are like secret messages from our mind, using pictures and stories instead of words. They can tell us a lot about ourselves, our feelings, and what we're going through in life. Let's dive into some common symbols that pop up in our dreams and see what they might mean. First off, animals show up a lot in dreams. The type of animal and what it's doing can tell us different things. For example, if you dream about a lion, it might mean you're feeling brave or scared, depending on the dream. It's like the animal is showing us our own feelings about something in our life. Are we facing something head-on, or is there something we're trying to avoid? Water is another symbol that comes up a lot. It can appear as a calm lake, a rushing river, or even a flood. Water often shows us our emotions. A peaceful lake might mean we're feeling calm, while a flood might show that we're feeling overwhelmed. It's a hint to check in with ourselves and see how we're really doing emotionally. Flying in dreams is usually a fun experience. It often means we want more freedom or we're trying to escape from something that's holding us back. If you've flown in a dream, think about where in your life you're wishing for more freedom or a break from the daily routine. Falling, on the other hand, can be scary. It often happens when we're feeling insecure or afraid of failing at something. These dreams remind us that it's normal to feel scared sometimes and what matters most is how we deal with those fears. Fire is a strong symbol in dreams because it can create and destroy. It might stand for strong feelings like passion or anger or big changes happening in our life. A dream with fire in it asks us to think about what's causing strong emotions in our life or where big changes are happening. Dreams about exploring new places, like a maze or an unknown city, can mean we're looking for direction in life or feeling a bit lost. These dreams tell us to keep searching for our path and remind us that it's okay to feel unsure. Every adventure starts with just one step. 
Colors in dreams are important too. Bright colors can mean feelings of happiness and creativity, while darker colors might point to deeper hidden parts of ourselves. Paying attention to the colors in our dreams can give us clues about our emotions and what's really important to us right now. Meeting people in dreams, whether they're strangers or people we know, can tell us about our relationships. These dreams might show us how we feel about someone or remind us of qualities we see in them that we have too. It's like looking into a mirror that shows us parts of ourselves we don't always notice. Losing something or someone in a dream can make us feel anxious or sad, showing us we're afraid of loss or change. These dreams might be telling us we're holding on to something too tightly and need to let go or accept that change is part of life. Finding something in a dream, like a hidden treasure, feels great. It often means we're discovering new things about ourselves or finding solutions to problems we've been thinking about. These dreams encourage us to keep exploring and learning because sometimes the answers we're looking for are already inside us. Learning what our dreams mean is like learning a new language, the language of our deeper selves. Each symbol and story is a piece of a puzzle about who we are. As we put these pieces together, we get clearer about our lives, understand ourselves better, and find more wonder in our journey. Dreams are a special gift. They help us see our path with more clarity and fill our journey with deeper meaning and connection. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 3. Recurrent Dreams and Collective Unconscious Ever noticed a dream that keeps coming back, like a favorite movie that replays in your head? These repeating dreams are really special because they're trying to tell us something important. It's kind of like our mind is nudging us, saying, Hey, there's something here you need to look at. Whether it's a problem we're facing or something from the past we haven't quite dealt with, these dreams stick around until we pay attention. These dreams aren't just random. They connect us to everyone else, tapping into what's called the collective unconscious. This is a fancy way of saying there are stories, images, and ideas deep in our minds that we share with people all around the world, no matter where we come from. It's like having a library of human experiences we can all access, filled with stories of heroes, wise people, and journeys from dark to light. These shared stories help us feel connected to others, reminding us we're all part of something bigger. When we have these dreams over and over, it's like getting a personal message that also ties us to the whole world. For example, dreaming about water might mean something about our emotions, which is something people everywhere can relate to. Or, going on a journey in a dream can reflect our own growth, something every person goes through in some way. These dreams ask us to think about our own life stories. Are we the hero of our story, overcoming obstacles and growing stronger? They invite us to see how our personal adventures fit into the bigger picture of human experiences. This can be really comforting, especially when we feel alone or unsure. It's a reminder that others have been where we are and we share something with them that goes beyond time and place. By exploring these repeating dreams, we can learn a lot about ourselves. They make us curious about why we feel certain ways or want certain things. It's a chance to discover parts of ourselves we might not know well and to face fears or challenges that have been in our way. Paying attention to these dreams can really help us grow. They push us to understand ourselves better, to embrace all the parts of who we are, and to find healing and clarity. As we figure out what these dreams mean, we can get clearer about where we're headed in life. Talking about these dreams with friends or family can be amazing. It opens up new ways to think about what our dreams mean, making us feel connected and supported. Sharing our dream stories can help us see how our personal experiences are part of a much bigger story shared by people everywhere. In a way, these repeating dreams are a gift. They give us a peek into the deepest parts of who we are and connect us to the bigger human family. 
They show us we're not alone, but part of a rich, woven tapestry of life. By listening to what these dreams are trying to tell us, we can uncover wisdom and guidance to help us on our journey. So, if you find yourself dreaming the same dream again, welcome it in. Sit with it, explore it, and listen to its message. It might just hold the key to understanding yourself better and feeling more connected to the world around you. For Role of Spiritual Guidance in Dreams Dreams can be like secret letters from our deeper selves or maybe even from something bigger than us. They can give us advice, help us feel better, or nudge us to see things we might be missing. It's pretty amazing when you think about it, like having a wise friend who talks to us while we sleep. Let's dive into how dreams can be this kind of special guide and how we can understand and use their advice in our everyday lives. Sometimes, dreams are just dreams, made up of bits and pieces of our day or just random thoughts. But other times, a dream can feel different, more clear or powerful, as if it has something very important to tell us. These are the dreams that might be trying to help us out, giving us some spiritual guidance. In these important dreams, we might meet people or see things that seem wise or powerful. It could be someone like a kind grandparent, or even someone from stories or religions that mean something to us. They might talk to us, give us a hug, or show us something that helps us feel better or understand something big. It's like these dreams are a bridge to a part of ourselves that knows more than we do when we're awake, sharing wisdom in a way that really gets to us. To get what these dreams are trying to say, we need to think a bit like detectives, looking deeper into what we see and feel in the dream. For instance, dreaming about climbing a big hill might not just be about wanting to go outside more. It might be about a tough time we're going through or a big goal we're trying to reach. The feelings we have in these dreams are clues too. If we wake up feeling super happy and calm, the dream might be telling us we're doing just fine. But if we wake up feeling worried or scared, the dream might be saying, it's time to look at something we've been avoiding. Sometimes, if we don't catch the hint the first time, the same kind of dream will come back, like a favorite song on repeat, until we understand what it's trying to tell us. It's as if our spiritual guide is really patient, making sure we're paying attention. Before we go to bed, we can even ask for guidance about something we're unsure about, like asking for a little help from our deeper selves. It's like putting out a call for advice right before we sleep. Writing down our dreams as soon as we wake up can really help too. It's easier to remember all the details and feelings that way, and those details often have the advice we're looking for. Talking about our dreams with friends or family can also help us see what they mean. Sometimes, just saying the dream out loud makes its message clearer, as if the answer was there all along, but we just didn't see it. Doing things like meditation or quiet thinking can also help us connect more with our dreams. By calming down and focusing inward, we make room for the wisdom of our dreams to bubble up to the surface, making it easier to understand and accept. And really important, when we get advice from our dreams, we should try to use it. It shows we trust this inner wisdom and opens us up to even more guidance down the road. Dreams can give us really special advice, helping us see things more clearly and feel more connected to the bigger world. By paying attention to these dreams, thinking about what they're telling us and using their advice, we can walk through life feeling a bit more sure and a lot more connected. So next time you have a dream that feels like it means something, take a moment to listen to what it's saying. It could be the advice you've been waiting for, and if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 5. Specific Dream Interpretations and Their Impact on Personal Growth Dreams are like secret messages from our minds, telling us stories that can help us grow and learn about ourselves. Let's dive into some common dreams and see what they might be trying to tell us in a way that can help us in our everyday lives. When we dream about being chased, it can get our hearts racing. But really, this dream might be about something we're trying to avoid or run away from in our real life. 
It's like our dream is saying, hey, it's time to face this. It could be anything from a tricky problem to an emotion we don't want to deal with. These dreams are nudges to stop running and face what scares us. Flying in dreams is an incredible feeling. It often means we want to break free from something that's been holding us back. Maybe it's a situation or a belief about ourselves that isn't true. These dreams remind us we're stronger and freer than we think, encouraging us to believe in ourselves. Falling in a dream can make us jolt awake, feeling a bit scared, but it's not all bad. It shows we're worried about losing control or messing up. The cool part? It teaches us about letting go and trusting that things will work out, even if they don't go perfectly. Ever dreamt you were back in school, taking an exam you hadn't studied for? These dreams can make us sweat, worried about not being good enough. They're poking at places where we feel unsure of ourselves. It's a push to look at those doubts, to learn and grow more confident. Dreams where we're naked in public? Yep, they can make us want to hide. But they're really about fear of being seen as we truly are, warts and all. These dreams tell us it's okay to be ourselves, encouraging us to accept and love all parts of us. If we can't speak in a dream, especially when we need to say something important, it can feel frustrating. This dream suggests we might feel overlooked or not heard in real life. It's a reminder to find our voice and share our thoughts and feelings because they matter. Losing teeth in a dream can be weird and worrying. It often reflects our worries about how we look or about big changes happening. These dreams help us face our fears about change, reminding us that it's a part of life and we can handle it. Dreaming about water can be peaceful or scary, depending on the water in the dream. This mirrors our emotions. Calm water means we're feeling good, while stormy water might mean we're dealing with big feelings. These dreams invite us to explore our emotions, learn from them and find peace. Meeting a stranger in a dream can be mysterious, Often, this stranger shows us parts of ourselves we haven't fully seen or understood. It's an invitation to get to know ourselves better and discover new things about who we are. Dreams about death can be unsettling, but they're not usually about actual dying. Instead, they're about endings and new beginnings in our life. It could be saying goodbye to old habits or starting a new chapter. These dreams remind us that endings are also the start of something new and exciting. Understanding these dreams can be like having a guide to help us grow. They shine a light on things we might not notice when we're awake, like fears to face, strengths to celebrate, or changes to embrace. By listening to our dreams and thinking about what they mean, we can learn a lot about ourselves and take steps to grow and be happier. So next time you have a memorable dream, Consider what it might be saying about your life. It could be just the insight you need to tackle a challenge, make a change, or appreciate something wonderful about yourself. Dreams are like friends from our subconscious, offering advice and support as we journey through life. 6. Responses to Dreams in Spiritual Practice In the journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth, dreams are like secret messages that can guide us. They're more than just random stories. They're deep insights from within us. Let's look at ways we can respond to these dream messages to help us on our spiritual path. First off, taking our dreams seriously is a good starting point. Think of dreams as important messages from a part of ourselves that knows a lot more than we do during the day. Even if a dream seems strange, paying attention to it can be the first step in understanding its deeper meaning. Writing down our dreams right when we wake up is super helpful. It's like keeping a log of all the interesting and insightful chats we have with ourselves while we sleep. Over time, we might start noticing patterns or messages that weren't clear at first. This dream diary becomes a valuable tool for understanding the guidance our dreams are offering. Talking about our dreams with friends or family can open up new ways of seeing them. It's kind of like when you share a problem and suddenly see the solution because you've talked it out loud. Others might see something in your dream that you didn't, offering a whole new perspective. Meditating on our dreams can deepen their insights. 
Imagine sitting quietly and asking your dream to explain itself more clearly. Often, the true message of a dream becomes clearer in the peaceful moments of meditation, giving us a better understanding of what our inner self is trying to communicate. Getting creative with our dreams, like drawing or writing about them, can bring their messages into the real world. It's a fun way to explore what the dream might be saying, and sharing this creativity can help authors see their own dreams in new ways too. Before going to sleep, we can also ask for guidance through our dreams. It's like putting in a request for advice on something we're dealing with. Whether it's about our spiritual journey or a personal challenge, this intention can shape the dreams that come, making them more relevant and insightful. Understanding the symbols in our dreams based on our own life and beliefs is important. For example, dreaming about a snake could mean different things to different people. Figuring out what these symbols mean to use personally can help unlock the dream's message. Trying to become aware that we're dreaming while we're still in the dream, known as lucid dreaming, gives us a chance to explore our dreams actively. It's like being in a live conversation with our dream, where we can ask questions and discover more about ourselves. Saying thank you for the wisdom our dreams give us can make a big difference. Gratitude opens our hearts and minds making us more receptive to new insights and ready to welcome the guidance our dreams provide. Finally, acting on what our dreams tell us is crucial. If a dream suggests a new way to approach our spiritual practice or a solution to a problem, taking steps in our waking life to follow that guidance shows we're listening and willing to grow. By engaging with our dreams in these ways, we turn our nighttime into a rich source of spiritual growth and self-discovery. Dreams offer us unique insights into ourselves and our path, guiding us toward deeper understanding and connection. So, next time you remember a dream, see it as a special opportunity. It's a chance to learn, to grow, and to discover more about your spiritual journey. By being open and curious about our dreams, we can deepen our connection to the wisdom within us, finding guidance and support as we navigate the path of life. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 7. Spiritual Warfare in Dreams Sometimes, our dreams take us into battles that feel bigger than everyday life, like we're fighting against forces we can't see during the day. These aren't just regular nightmares, they're like epic tales where we face off against challenges that test our spirit and resolve. Think of them as spiritual adventures that happen while we're sleeping. Let's dive into how these dream battles can actually help us grow and how to handle them. First off, it's good to know that these intense dreams are more than just random scenes. They mirror the big struggles we face on the inside. These dreams can be super vivid and stick with us long after we wake up, making us think about them all day. Sometimes in these dreams, we might feel chased or threatened by something scary. This can represent the not-so-nice stuff we deal with in real life, like worries, doubts, or bad vibes. It's like our dreams are showing us what we're up against in a more dramatic way. Before we head to bed, doing something calming or uplifting can set a protective vibe for our sleep. It's a bit like putting on imaginary armor, getting our mind and spirit ready just in case any dream battles pop up. The things we see and do in these dreams often mean something deeper. For example, a storm in a dream might not just be about the weather, but could symbolize a tough time we're going through. Figuring out these symbols can give us clues on how to win these battles, not just in our dreams, but in real life too. Believing we can face these challenges, even in our dreams, is really important. It's like learning how to be brave in a safe place so when we wake up, we feel a bit stronger and more ready to take on the world. Sometimes asking for a bit of backup in these dreams, like thinking of a positive force or a helpful guide, can give us a boost. It's comforting to think there's something good on our side, helping us fight those battles. Making our bedtime routine nice and peaceful can help keep the scary dreams at bay. Maybe read a happy story, listen to some soothing tunes, or take a few deep breaths to chill out before sleep. When we wake up from one of these big deal dreams, it's a good idea to think about it a bit. 
jotting it down and wondering what it all means can help us figure out what we're fighting against and how to beat it. Chatting about these dreams with someone who gets it, maybe someone who's wise about spiritual stuff, can shine a light on things we didn't see by ourselves. They might help us understand the dream better and know what to do next. The real deal is what we do after we wake up. Taking what we learn from these dreams and using it in real life is where the magic happens. It might mean changing something, trying a new way of doing things, or just remembering to be brave like we were in the dream. These dream battles can seem scary, but they're also a chance for us to grow stronger and wiser. By getting ready for them, understanding their hidden messages, and bringing those lessons into our day, we can face our real-life challenges with a bit more courage and a lot more hope. So, next time you find yourself in a dream showdown, remember it's not just a dream, it's an opportunity to become even more awesome. 8. Personal and Collective Narratives in Dreams Dreams are like stories that our minds tell us at night, showing us pictures and scenes about our own lives and the bigger world around us. These stories can be about just us or about everyone, showing how we all share some experiences and feelings. Let's take a closer look at how our personal stories and the big stories that everyone shares show up in our dreams and what they mean for us. Every dream is like a chapter in a bigger book about our lives. Sometimes dreams talk about the stuff we're dealing with right now, like if we're worried or excited about something. But dreams also show us that we're part of a bigger group of people, like our family, our friends, or even everyone in the world. Our own stories and dreams might show us things we're trying to figure out, like if we dream we're looking for something but can't find it. This could mean we're searching for something in real life, too. It's like our dreams are giving us clues about our own journey. But dreams also tell stories that many people might see in their dreams. Dreaming about big waves or storms could mean we're all feeling worried about big changes or challenges, not just in our own lives, but in the whole world. It's a way of showing that we share some feelings and experiences with lots of other people. Dreams can connect our personal adventures to the big stories of all people. For example, if we dream about being part of a team or group, it might mean we're feeling connected to others and that we're all working together on something important. It reminds us that what we do matters to the bigger picture. Looking at the symbols in our dreams, like water or keys, can help us understand these stories better. These symbols might mean something special to us, but also have meanings that lots of people would understand. Thinking about these symbols can help us see both our own story and how we fit into the world's story. Seeing the same things over and over in our dreams, like certain places or people, can show us patterns in our lives and in the world. These patterns might tell us something important, like if we need to change something or if we're learning a big lesson that's part of being human. Talking about our dreams with other people can be really helpful. When we share our dreams, we might find out that authors have had similar dreams or feelings. This can make us feel like we're part of something big, like we're all in this together. The feelings we have in our dreams, whether we're happy, scared, or sad, can tell us a lot about what's going on inside us and how we feel about the world. Our emotions in dreams are a powerful way to understand ourselves and how we relate to everything happening around us. Sometimes, our dreams might inspire us to do something when we're awake. If a dream makes us think about something important, like helping others or following a dream we have, it could be the push we need to make a difference in our lives and in the world. Knowing that we share some of our dream stories with other people can make us feel less alone. It shows us that everyone goes through tough times, feels happy or gets confused, just like we do. Together, our stories make up the big, beautiful story of all people. Dreams are more than just bedtime movies. They're a way for us to see how our lives are part of a huge, connected world. By paying attention to our dreams, we can learn more about ourselves, feel closer to other people, and find our place in the big story of life. So, the next time you remember a dream, think about what it might be telling you about your own story and how you're connected to everyone else's story too.
And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 9. Practical Advice for Dealing with Dreams Dreams are like little adventures our minds go on when we're sleeping, and they can tell us a lot about ourselves. But sometimes, figuring out what our dreams mean can feel like a puzzle. Here are some friendly tips on how to work with your dreams so they can help you learn and grow, rather than leaving you scratching your head. Keeping a notebook by your bed for your dreams is super helpful. Right when you wake up, write down everything you remember about your dream, even if it's just a weird feeling or a single image. Dreams have a habit of slipping away fast, so catching them quickly is key. Chatting about your dreams can open up new ideas. Share them with a friend or someone in your family. It's like when you talk about a problem and suddenly see the answer. Someone else might point out something in your dream that you didn't notice. Looking for patterns in your dreams is like being a detective on your own case. If you keep dreaming about being lost, for example, it might mean there's something in your life you're unsure about. Noticing these patterns can give you clues about what's going on inside your mind. Sometimes dreams are just dreams, sorting through the day's leftovers, but other times they might have a deeper message. Thinking about how your dreams make you feel and what's happening in your life can help you tell the difference. Getting to know common dream symbols can also give you hints. While everyone's dreams are a bit unique, certain things like water or flying often mean similar things for many people. A little bit of research can give you ideas about what your dream might mean. The way you get ready for bed can affect your dreams. A calm bedtime routine, maybe reading a nice book or doing some stretches, can invite more peaceful dreams. Avoiding scary or stressful stuff before bed is also a good idea. If a dream keeps bothering you, Try changing the story in your mind before you go to sleep. I imagine a happier or more peaceful ending. This can sometimes tell your mind you're looking for solutions, not just replaying the same worries. Doing relaxing things before bed, like deep breathing or imagining a peaceful place, can help guide your dreams in a nicer direction. It's like setting the scene for a pleasant journey instead of a wild one. How you're feeling during the day can play into your dreams. If you're super stressed, finding ways to chill out, like talking about what's bothering you or spending time on a hobby, might lead to smoother dreaming. Lastly, seeing dreams as friends rather than puzzles can make a big difference. They're part of your mind's way of exploring and figuring things out. Being open and curious about your dreams can turn them into allies on your journey to understanding yourself better. By trying out these tips, you can become more connected with your dream world. It turns from being confusing, or even a bit scary, into something that helps you grow. Dreams are like nightly letters from your subconscious, offering insights and ideas. So, the next time you tuck in for the night, remember you're about to dive into another adventure, and your dreams are there to guide you. 10. Navigating Dreams As Pathways to Enlightenment Dreams are like secret adventures our minds go on every night, and they can teach us a lot about ourselves and the world. Imagine dreams as special messages that can help us understand who we are and how we can be our best selves. Here's how you can use your dreams to learn more about yourself and grow on a deep level. First, think of dreams as special notes from your mind. They're like clues left behind to help you figure out puzzles in your life. Every dream can tell you something important, even if it seems a bit strange or hard to understand at first. Notice if the same things keep showing up in your dreams. This is like your mind's way of putting a spotlight on something really important. It could be a place, a person, or even an object. If it keeps coming back, it's trying to tell you something special. The feelings you have in dreams are big clues. How you feel in a dream, happy, scared, or something else, can show you a lot about what's going on inside you. These feelings are like signs pointing you toward what needs your attention. Talking to people in your dreams as if they're parts of you can be super interesting. Every character in your dream can show you a bit about yourself. Listening to them or watching what they do can give you hints about different parts of your own personality. 
facing scary stuff in dreams can actually make you braver. Dreams let you face fears in a safe way where nothing can really hurt you. This can help you feel stronger and more ready to deal with tough things in real life. Before you go to bed, you can ask your mind a question, like you're giving it a little homework. If something's bothering you or you're looking for an answer, just think about it as you're falling asleep. Your dreams might come up with some pretty cool answers. Writing down your dreams, right? When you wake up, helps you remember them better. Keep a notebook by your bed and jot down everything you can remember. Later, you can think about what you wrote and try to figure out what your dreams are telling you. Talking about your dreams with friends or family can help you see them in new ways. Sometimes, someone else might see something in your dream that you missed. It's like getting a fresh set of eyes on a mystery you're trying to solve. Doing calm stuff like breathing deeply or picturing a peaceful place before bed can help you have nicer dreams. It's like setting up a cozy, safe space in your mind for good dreams to visit. Lastly, treating dreams like they're a special part of getting to know yourself can change how you see them. Instead of just thinking of dreams as something weird that happens when you sleep, see them as a cool, nightly journey you go on to learn more about yourself. By looking at your dreams this way, you can start to understand yourself on a deeper level. Dreams can be like guides, showing you how to be happier, more at peace, and closer to the person you want to be. So, the next time you have a dream, remember it's like a little adventure for your mind, helping you explore and grow. Conclusion We've been on a pretty cool adventure, learning all about dreams and how they're not just random stories our brains tell us at night. Instead, dreams are like secret messages, helping us figure out more about who we are and what makes us tick. They can be about things we're scared of, stuff we're excited about, or even just things we're trying to work out in our heads. One of the best tricks we learned is keeping a dream journal. Writing down our dreams as soon as we wake up can really help us remember them and maybe even understand what they mean. It's like having a diary that helps us get to know ourselves better. We also talked about how chatting about our dreams with friends or family can give us new ideas. It's kind of like when you're stuck on a puzzle and someone else helps you see the missing piece. Plus, paying attention to the things that keep popping up in our dreams can show us what we're really thinking about a lot. But dreams aren't just about the stuff that's going on right now. They can also tell us about the big feelings we have, like if we're happy, scared, or even if we're dealing with something tough. And the cool part is, we can learn from these feelings and maybe even figure out how to feel better. Before we go to sleep, thinking about something we want to understand better can sometimes make our dreams give us clues or answers. It's like asking a question before you go to bed and then seeing if your dreams come up with an answer. And finally, seeing dreams as a special part of our day, not just something that happens when we're asleep, can change how we think about them. They're like a gift from our brains, giving us clues and ideas that can help us be happier and more at peace with ourselves. So, as we finish up this journey, remember that every night is a chance to dive back into the world of dreams and discover something new. Whether you're looking for answers, inspiration, or just a better understanding of yourself, your dreams are there, ready to help you out. Here's to dreaming big and finding the little messages that make us who we are. Sweet dreams. And here's to all the adventurers that await you in the land of sleep. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel.